go. So the first uh, evidence-based evidence -based peer service that we're gonna look at is the helper therapy principle. And the helper therapy, the helper therapy, therapy, okay, get my lips wet here, states that the person who helps get more, gets more out of the interaction than the person being helped. Okay, let's get that right. The person who's doing the helping gets more out of it than the person being helped. Uh, peers give, the way that we use that is peers give the people they serve opportunities to help others so that the people being served gets, get the benefits of helping. And it's important that as a peer that I recognize that I'm also helping by letting them help me and others, because then it's a win-win where we both are helping and are getting that, uh, that feeling of being better because of helping. Helping others has been shown to have positive health and mental health benefits and heals the helper more than the person being helped. So the idea is to create opportunities for people uh, to help, to create opportunities for people to help so that that improves their health, mental health, and self-esteem. All right, the key component of the, um, and I've got to figure out a way to get, okay, there we go. The key component of the helper therapy principle is that when people help others or even are perceived to be helping others or that they perceive they are helping others they feel good about themselves in ways that improve <coughs> health health and functioning so now we're going to have a chat app opportunity and what I'd like you to do is to go into chat and if you care to you can share um, uh, you can talk about a time when you felt good because you helped somebody. And I'll give you a couple of minutes to do that. And then, Pinese, if you want to read them off uh, when they come in, that would be great. So we have from Roman, I feel good in helping someone um, find appropriate resources in the community. And from Vanessa, when I share a warm smile, recognizing all. Next we have, I told someone they looked good in their interview clothing. That person later returned and said someone addressed them as sir and they took two buses just to come and tell me how good that made them feel. Uh, from KB, uh, helping someone is also helping myself in recovery. Absolutely. Okay, are there any others or are we done? Okay, sounds like we're done. All right, so what is the evidence for the helper therapy principle? So these are studies that were done and among teens tutoring younger children, the younger children's grades improved with tutoring, but the teen tutor's grades improved even more. So the tutor's grades go way, way up, whereas the person being tutored, their grades go up, but not as high as the person helping. A majority of community health workers felt help, helper benefits, including positive feelings about self, a sense of belonging, and valuable work experience. Um, recovery rates for alcoholics doubled if they were helping other alcoholics. And the helper high, helpers report a distinct physical sensation associated with helping. About half report that they experienced a high feeling. 43% felt stronger and more energetic. 28% felt warm. 22% felt calmer and less depressed. 
and 21% experience greater feelings of self-worth. Finally, 13% experience, experience fewer aches and pains. So helping helps. So the key question in peer services is, are you letting the person help you or are you encouraging them to help others? So supervisors should be seeing whether or not their peer is finding opportunities for the people they're serving to help rather than doing everything for them themselves. So we have for each of these, we have high and low recovery and we have many more of these or we have a few more of these high and low recovery for each one. I've only picked a couple for each, uh, each uh, evidence-based best practice. So um, in creating leadership opportunities, high recovery is where the peer worker is adept at creating opportunities to be the person helping. For example, finding a skill that someone has and having them teach that skill to others. Teaching the person to use Word today and having them train someone else in Word tomorrow.